Next up is notes. This is going to be... Yeah. So here's your notes. I've got a bunch of notes, as you can see. I use this application pretty diligently. I love the notes application. It's so helpful, so useful. Uh, as you can see, we've just got a bunch of them. Some of them I need to delete. Some of them are just there for a purpose. Um, I'm going to go and show you a note that I used. This is actually something I'm using for a project. Uh, and I actually did take these uh, for a school project. And I actually did take them during class because the teacher doesn't mind. Um, so, as you can see, yeah, it's a pretty helpful thing. Now, I'm going to go and show you what it's like to type in notes. And again, I'm going to come over here so I can actually type a little bit faster. But this is also a landscape one, so right there landscape. This is probably going to be the only time I go off screen, but I want to do this to show you kind of how the performance that you can achieve with the keyboard. So I'm going to real quickly type in a quick message. I'm going to, the first few words are going to make up your title. So the top line is your title. Then you can go ahead and enter twice, and then we're going to go and type in Hi, my name is just like that. For some reason I keep missing that S and hitting A. Hi, my name is PSCS and I like pizza. There. So, and then we hit done. And it will finish the note. And <laughs> need to come back over here. Um, this is what the note actually looks like when you're done typing it. So, the title's hi, hi. Hi, my name is PSCS and I like pizza. And you'll also notice that we've got a few more options here. This is your where you use to go to add a new note. This takes you back to your notes. This one here is a f the back button, which takes you back a note. This one here is your forward button. It actually does a little flip for you, like you're in a, a using a memo pad. Whoops. I don't want to type anything right there. So, and this here, is, you can use this to email it. So it'll actually take and email the... Uh, actual note to someone, which is pretty helpful. This is your delete button, which you can actually use to delete it. And you get a nice little thing like this. Pretty cool. So, yeah. And you'll also notice, this one right here is actually one I'm using, taking notes from on the internet. That is actually a clickable URL. If you type in a URL or a phone number, you can actually click on it, and it'll actually, um, you can actually use it as a, uh, you can actually, you know, do stuff with it. If I click on it, it'll actually take me to this website, in Safari. This is the website I was taking notes from, so if I wanted to continue taking notes from it, I just click on there and I can start jotting down some notes, which is a really cool feature. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, that's pretty much all I can really explain about notes. I'm going to actually now go and give you guys a quick tour of the keyboard, because that's kind of important. So let me just kind of show you around the keyboard a bit. This is your QWERTY keyboard section, and uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty easy to type with. You know, it does take getting used to, but that's okay. I'm typing again through the screen right here, so I can better show you what I'm doing. So I might make a lot of typos. My foot's falling asleep, so I'll remove my shoes. Okay, and now, um, so you can just kind of type away like that. Okay. Now, um, this is your backspace, so you can delete some. If you hold it down, I'll just type a really long thing. And I'll type in some spaces too. If you hit the hold down the backspace, it'll immediately just delete everything. And it'll start deleting it word by word instead of letter by letter. Letter. This is your space bar, obviously. This is your enter key. This is your space or your shift, which you know you tap it and it'll capitalize for you. If you double tap it, you have to turn this on in settings. You can actually use it in as caps lock. When it turns blue, and then we're out of caps lock. So now everything's lowercase. Okay, and to get to your numbers, just click the number button right there, and it'll take you to your numbers. And, um, these are all your numbers you got. And you also got a bunch of symbols, so yeah. And if you click this, you get a bunch of symbols. Now, this is a lot, these are a lot of components for HTML, but HTML doesn't really work very well in a lot of the applications on here. You can't really compose a lot of HTML emails, which is kind of disappointing. Hopefully they'll actually put that in the composer they can type in HTML emails and stuff like that. That would be so cool. Um, I'm still experimenting around with it because I'm really kind of interested in HTML right now. But yeah, these are that's some more symbols for you and you can... Yeah. So that's your keyboard. 
pretty much. And uh, again, as I said earlier in the uh, in one of my earlier videos on this, the key the keyboards do change depending on what you're typing in. Okay, so if you're typing in a URL, it'll bring up a URL specific ke uh, keyboard. Excuse me, keyboard. If you're typing in an email, it'll bring up an email specific uh, keyboard. If you're ty I mean, if you type in a phone number, it'll actually bring up the f iPhone keypad, which is pretty cool. All that stuff. So uh, that is that. So close out, and that's notes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip settings, and I'm gonna show you guys the App Store. So I can kind of show you what the App Store is all like. Now, there's going to be several times where I blur the screen a little bit because my email might show up a little bit, so I'm probably going to blur the screen a bit so that way I, uh, it won't show up. But this is what the App Store interface looks like. All right, as you can see, up here we've got some little things that they're doing. And then up here we've got New, What's Hot, and Genius, which Genius is actually recommendations from what you have downloaded. So if I click on it, It'll bring up specifically what they think I should download due to what I have. So as you can guys can see, these are all the stuff I can do. And if I don't like one of these, all I have to do is just slide and delete it. Now this only works in Genius, and it does not actually delete the application from the App Store, thankfully. Uh, it only work, it only removes it from your recommended recommended list. So it doesn't work on here because, like, you know, it make no sense if it worked there. And here you can choose a little thing there that they're doing. There's a bunch of, I guess, app. Uh, basketball stuff. <coughs> What's hot is a bunch of popular popular ones, and right there you can even check out some uh, apps from the iPod Touch uh, advertisements. This is your categories menu. You have a bunch of little categories here, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna let that load. You see, we've got a bunch of categories. We got games and such. Here's the top 25. It just shows you, I guess, the top 25 downloaded ones or some. And you've got top paid, you've got top free. So if you want a good free application, come here and you should be able to find one. Um, so that's pretty cool. And this is your uh, top top grossing. Now, this doesn't mean the gross applications. Top grossing can also be a good term. I just can't exactly remember what it means. But it is not there. Those are not gross applications. I think gross means, like, um, abundant uh, as well as disgusting. So, yeah, this is your search, so you can search stuff. I was looking for some. Uh, I found a Mega Man emulator, and I was wondering if they had some other emulators on there. So I was looking up a bunch of games that I had in the past uh, to see if I could find some emulators. Uh, but we can search it, like, I don't know, anything. Let's look up Jelly Car. It's a pretty cool game. I have it already, but maybe they've made the sequel yet, finally. Doesn't look like they have, but this is Jellicar. Jellblox, a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, and then you can click here, and you can actually download the application. Since I've already got it downloaded and stuff, I'm actually going to see if I can do a demo download for you, but I'm going to have to actually delete an application that I don't care about anymore. So let me do that off camera real quick and I'll be back.